My name is Carter. It's my pleasure. Mr. Baker. Mr. Carter. Your name tag, gentlemen. Look at your name tags. That's strange. It appears that my name is Edson after all. And mine is Dr. Hennig. And I'm Carter. 
and I'm Baker. No, these names are all wrong. I know I'm Dr. Henning. I can prove it. Ontology recapulates phylogeny. Did you ever hear such a thing? That's deep. What does it mean? We in the behavioral sciences leave such matters to our undergraduates. Then you must be Dr. Henning. I am. I am. It's a pleasure to meet you, Dr. Henning. I'm... I'm not Edson. How do you do, Dr. Henning? I'm not Dr. Henning. It's a great pleasure, Dr. Henning. I'm... I'm not Carter. Gentlemen, please, we must have order. Scientists are dependent upon order. Give me my name tag, please. And this one's yours. Now you two will exchange names, please. Will you read your names? I'm Carter. I'm Edson. I'm Baker. And I'm... I'm Dr. Henning. It's a pleasure to meet you. No. Never mind. I don't think that'll be necessary. Well, gentlemen, I suppose you're wondering why you're here. I'm not wondering. Were you wondering, Edson? No, I'm not wondering. Were you wondering, Carter? About what? I've forgotten. Now, what was I wondering about? I wonder. You are here, gentlemen, to play a game. A game? A game. You want us to play a game? Yes. You want the three of us to play a game? Yes. Well, all right. What kind of game? An experiment. Experiment? I used to play that, but my mother caught me and gave me a spanking. No, you don't understand. The game is not called experiment. It is an experiment. An experiment in mind warping through participatory sloganism. Did you ever hear such a thing? That's deep. What does it mean? We want to determine the effectiveness of modern advertisement and its manipulation of the buying public. Manipulation? I used to do that when my mother caught me and gave me a spanking. Oh, please. So, you must pay attention. Now, you will notice that there is, in this room, a light, a chair, and the door by which you enter. Hey, I didn't notice that. Scientists are supposed to notice things like that. I noticed it. You did? I didn't. Well, I did. I noticed them lines on the floor, Dr. Henning. I noticed that too. You did? I didn't. Those lines on the floor divide the room into three separate but equal sections. How about that? I didn't notice that. I didn't either. Choose one of those sections for this experiment by standing in the middle of it. You want us to stand in the middle Just of it? Just do as I ask! No, separate sections. Okay. Now that is your territory. You own it. I own this section. Yes. And I own this section. Yes. I don't like this game. Here, take these. Commit those words to memory. You repeat those words in unison whenever that light comes on. And you must finish your recitation before the light goes off. Are there any questions? I don't like this game. That isn't a question. It isn't? No. No. This is my land. It is mine. It is beautiful, and it is mine. That's all? That's all. And you want us to repeat this? Yes. Whenever the light comes on? Yes. And finish before it goes off? Yes. I don't like this game. When the door is closed, the light is activated. So when I leave, the game will begin. You're going to leave? Yes. Why? Because my presence might affect your response. You won't affect my response. Will you affect your response, Edson? No, you won't affect my response either. Will you affect your response, Carter? What response? I don't know. A response, Dr. Henning. I'll be watching and listening on my instrument panel. Have fun, gentlemen. And remember, you must enter the game with spirit. This, this is, is my land. land. It is, it is mine. mine. It is beautiful, beautiful. and it is, it is mine. What's the name of this game, Edson? I don't know. What's the point of this game, Baker? I don't know. How do we play this game, Carter? I don't know. This, this is my land. land. It, it is mine. It is, is beautiful, and it is mine. mine. Do you think Dr. Henning knows? He should know. After all, it is his game. And besides, he's a scientist. Yes, scientists are supposed to know all about such things. What things? Games. This, this is, is my land. land. It, it is mine. mine. It, it is beautiful, beautiful and it, it is mine. mine. If we don't know what the game is, how do we know when it's over? Dr. Henning will tell us. Dr. Henning isn't here. Hey, that's right. 
Well, he'll come back. How do you know he will? You think he's just gonna leave us here? How do we know he won't? Hey, that's right. This is my land. It is mine. It is beautiful, and it is mine. You go ask him, Edson. No, right? Stop. You didn't say may I. You go, Carter. May I? Yes. I don't want to. You've got to. I gave you permission. But I don't like that game. I'll do it then. Dr. Henning! Dr. Henning! He doesn't answer. He's locked us in. I have to go to the bathroom. Why do you think he's locked us in? Maybe he doesn't want us to get out? Well, why wouldn't he want us to get out? Maybe he wants us to stay here. That's probably it. I have to go to the bathroom. This is it's my land. land. It, it is mine. It is beautiful, and it is mine. mine. I have to go to the bathroom. I wonder why there's only one chair in here. I wonder why it's in your territory. I wonder if he'll let us go to the bathroom. Do you think it'll give me a shock if I touch it? No one won't give you a shock. How can it give you a shock? There aren't any wires. Go ahead, touch it. Why don't you? What, and get a concussion? How can you get a concussion? There aren't any wires. Then you do it. What, and get electrocuted? I'll do it. This is my land. It is mine. It is beautiful, and it is mine. Get your foot off my property, Carter. Mine too, Carter. You know, I think Henning made a mistake. In what way? My territory is smaller than yours. No, it isn't. <clears throat> They're all the same size. Look at it. See? Doesn't mine look smaller? It's the shape. That's all. Yours has a different shape. You think that's it? Yes, Fake was right. It's the shape. Well, it looks smaller to me. That's because you're standing in it. If you were where we are, you could tell they're the same. Well, we should reset the boundaries so that our properties will be the same shape as well as the same size. And why should we do that? So that there won't be any doubt about it. There's no <clears throat> doubt in my mind. Mine either. Well, there isn't mine. I think Henning made a mistake. <sighs> Look, Carter, I'm perfectly satisfied with my borders <clears throat> as they are, and I don't want them being moved. Is that clear? What are you getting so excited about? All I wanted to do is adjust some boundaries. They belong to us, Carter, so leave them alone. They're my borders, too. Then move them into your own territory. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You're after my territory, aren't you? Both of you. You're getting upset over nothing, Carter. Now calm down. This, this is my land. It is mine. It, it is, is beautiful, and it is mine. If my territory is so important to you, go on, take it. I don't want it. Now, Baker, don't be too hasty. If he's willing to give up part of his territory, we'd be fools not to take advantage of it. I changed my mind. You can't have it. What are you doing, Baker? Inspecting my country, of course. What does it look like I'm doing? Well, don't get so close to mine while doing so. Stay on your own property. That's enough, Carter. You're deliberately trying to provoke us. I am not. Can I help it if I have so little room that I can't move without stepping on a border? You have just as much room as we do. Stay on your own property. If I want to cross one of my own borders, I'll do so. I wouldn't try if I were you, Carter. This is my land. Mine and you stay off of it. You know, I just noticed something. My borders are much more strategically placed than yours. What do you mean, more strategically placed? They're the same as ours. <laughs> no, I have the door. You do not have the door. The door belongs to all of us. Well, it's on my property. It's not on your property. It signifies the boundary of your property. Carter's right. If it belongs to anyone, it belongs to all of us. So you say, but had it been on your territory, you would claim it as your own. Don't be silly, Baker. What possible use would a door be to me? This is my land. It is mine. It is beautiful, and it is mine. Well, I have the chair. So? You don't have one. Why should I want one? Well, that's easy to say if you don't have one. Carter, will you shut up? Aha! You want my chair too, don't you? No, I don't want your chair. You do so. That's why you want me to shut up. You're jealous because you don't have one. Now tell me, Carter, what possible advantage is there in having a chair? I can sit down on it. Well, we can sit down on the floor. 
Yeah, but the floor isn't as clean as the chair. And besides, the chair's more comfortable. I assure you, Carter, your silly chair is of no interest to me. Edson wants my chair. Edson Will wants you my shut chair. Up? I don't want your chair. I don't need it. I've got something better. What? What do you have? Never mind. You don't have something better. I do so. Well, what is it then? Yes, Edson, what is it? My area is larger than yours. It is not. You heard, Henning. The room is equally divided. This is my land. It, it is mine. It, it is beautiful. It is mine. That's what he said, but it isn't true. My area is actually larger than yours. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's just a different shape, that's all. That is not all. My area is larger. I measured it. How could you measure it? You don't have a measuring tape. I paste it off. He paste it off. I did so. But if, even if you did, you didn't paste our areas off. So? So, if you didn't paste our areas off, how do you know that your area is larger? Yes, and how do you know? <laughs> Henning told me. He did not. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Then why didn't we hear him? Because he whispered it to me. You're lying, Edson. Why would I lie? What purpose would I have in lying? Do you think he's lying, Carter? Probably. I am not. Why should Henning tell you something Because like that? it's true. Well, why should he say How it? How should I know? I'll tell you why. Because it didn't happen. You invented it. You wish to believe that. You may. How noble of you. Well, I have the best territory. You have not the chair, remember? Oh, he's right, Edson. I forgot about the chair. The chair? Don't you see that it's to our advantage that he has the chair? How? Yes, Edson, how? The chair in the middle of his property, he ends up with less room than we do. Less? Yes, that's right. It is not. It is so because of that precious chair of yours. We have more territory than you do. You do not. I can move the chair. Um, Yes, but no matter where you move it, it still takes up space. Carter has less room than us. Carter has- This is my land. It, it is, is mine. It, it is beautiful and it is mine. I do not. Because of that chair, I actually have more room than you. How, Carter? How? I have two levels and you only have one. But it takes up space. No, it provides space. How? I have more surfaces than you. I have the sides of the chair as well as the top. What good are the sides of a chair? Then mine is more scenic than yours. It is not. It is so. Yours is flat and unimaginative. While I have mountains. <laughs> mountains. <laughs> mountains. If I would like my chair to be mountains, who are you to criticize? Oh, come now, Carter. Aren't you going a little too far? I mean, mountains. <laughs> Besides, my ocean is much more attractive than your mountain. Ocean? Where is your ocean? Right there. How can that possibly be an ocean? I want that to be an ocean. It'll be an ocean. You can't just make an ocean, you know. <laughs> why not? Why, you just can't, that's all. It's not fair. Well, if you can have mountains, I don't see why I can't have an ocean. It's because you don't have anything to make an ocean from. That's why. Well, if a chair can be mountains, why can't the floor be an ocean? Then where's the land, Baker? <laughs> what? Yes, Baker. Where's the land? Uh, it isn't fair for Carter to have a chair. That's right, Carter. You have to give up your chair. I do not. It's mine, and I'm keeping it. It gives you an unfair advantage over us. You should have thought of that before. How are we supposed to know how important it would be? That's not my problem. Come on, Carter. Either share the chair or give it Stay up. Stay away from my border. This, this is, is my land. land. It, it is, is mine. It is beautiful, and it is mine. I have the door, and you can't get out of here unless you come into my property. Oh, it's not fair for him to have the chair, is it, Baker? No, it isn't fair. And I can stand on it, too. So what, Carter? Don't you see? No, I don't. 
This makes me God. It does not make you God. It does so. How can standing on a chair make you God? Well, because I'm higher than you. Somehow the logic escapes me. Well, it makes me a king, then. It does not. It does, too. How does it? Don't ask him, Baker. He'll just confuse you. It makes me a king because I'm master over all I survey. Big deal, I am, too. Yes, but I'm higher than you. So you're higher. So what? You can't see any further than the wall, no matter how high you are. How do you know? What do you mean? How do you know that I can't see further? How do you know? Because I can see everything you can. No, you can't. I can see clearer and further. You know, I can even see outside the room. You cannot. There are no windows. The wall is transparent higher up. Why, I can see for miles. Do you think he really can, Edson? Of course not! He's just making it up! But what if he really can? Just trust me. Is it fair, Baker? It isn't fair for Carter to have the trail to himself. What are you two whispering about? Nothing, Carter. Nothing that would interest you. You're talking about me, aren't you? And what if we are? If we want to talk about you, we will. You have no right to talk about me. Well, if you can look for miles, we can talk about you. All right. I won't look out of the room if you want to talk about me. Agreed. This is my land. It is mine. It is beautiful and it is mine. Could you really see for miles, Carter? I don't want to talk about it. Of course he couldn't. But how do you know, though? Maybe he really could. You said you wouldn't talk about me. I'm sorry, Carter. I won't do it again. You better not. I I think it's only fair that you share the chair with us, Carter. It's not a chair, it's mountains. Well, then you should share your mountains. Don't be silly. How can you share them? You can't just move mountains. We could come to them. Oh, no, you don't. I know what you're up to. We are not going to come onto my territory. If you won't share the chair with us, then give us some of your property. I will not. Why should I? Because with the chair, you've got more than we have. Of course I have. I've been telling you that. But it isn't fair. I'm sick of this it's not fair business. That's my chair, Edson, give it back! Then I have the door. You can't get out of here unless you come onto my property. What good is a door that you can't open from the inside? Well, I still have it, and that's as good as a chair. You stay away from my border, do you understand? This, this is, is my land. land. It, it is mine. It, it is beautiful, beautiful, and it is mine. Get off my property. It's mine now! It is not, now get off! I know what you are going to do with that chair. You are going to use it to invade us. Go on, admit it. Well, I beat you to it. I claim this piece for the same reason. Get off my land. Epson was right. You were planning to attack us all along. You are pleased with your own territory. You wanted ours, too. Why should I want yours if I'm happy with what I have? Don't give us that. You wanted our land, too. I did not really. I didn't want it. Don't try and fool us, Carter. All right. If you're going to take my land, I'll take yours. You stay out of my land. Did you hear? You see? You see? Didn't I say that's what you're after all along? That's my chair. Was your chair. I want to buy right of conquest. Give it back, Baker. It should be mine, Baker. After all, you have the door. I'll be fair about it. You can have the door. What good to me is a door on the other side of your property? How about that? Give it back, Baker. Do you hear? Give it back. Well, you can't have it. Now I'm gone! I claim this territory in order to protect my borders from invasion! You get away from there! And I claim this territory for the same reason. Get off! It's mine! That's my chair, Edson! It's my turn to have it! It's mine! I want it! Give it back! Gentlemen, that's enough! It's over! That's my chair! I want it! It's my turn now! This is my land! land. It, it is mine! It, it is beautiful! beautiful. And, and it, it is mine! mine. It's a, that's enough! Stop! That's my chair! It's just a game, Baker! It's just a game! He took it and I want it back! It's my turn! My turn! I want it! The game's over! It's over! Now stop it! This land belongs to Baker. You're not Baker. I'm Baker. I'm Henning, remember? Get off, it's mine! This land belongs to Edson. You're not Edson, I'm Edson. I'm Dr. Henning! Get off! This land belongs to Carter. You're not Carter, I'm Carter, get off! <laughs> Belongs to me, get out! It's just a game, Baker, just a game! This is my land, it is mine. It is beautiful and it is mine. Get off my land, it's mine, mine! You're after my chair too, 
Archie, will you won't get it. What's wrong with you? I said it's over. Get off. It's my land. Get off. It's my land. Get off. It's my land. This is my land. It is mine. It is beautiful. And it is mine. No, please. It's just a game. It's just a game. No. This is my land. It is mine. It is beautiful. And it is mine. This land is your land, and this land is my land, from the California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. As I went a walk in that ribbon of highway, I saw above me that endless skyway, saw below me that golden valley. This land was made for you and me. Sparkling sands of her diamond desert All around me a voice was sounding This land was made for you and me When the sun comes shining Then I was strolling And the wheat fields waving And the dust clouds rolling The voice was chanting And the fog was lifting this land was made for you and me. This land is your land, and this land is my land. From California to the New York Island, from Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. When the sun comes shining, then I was strolling. We feel it's waving, the dust clouds rolling, the boys come and candy. Hello, Dr. Congratulations, Dr. Andy. Gentlemen. Ha <laughs> ha